biggest challenge about taking on the team that 16 days ago you guys beat by 31? <laughs> Probably had your best game of the year. Um, well, we lost them the first time, but we remember that the second time we played them. The last game they lost, so um, they'll come out hungry and they'll come out aggressive. And, uh, there won't be a lack of sense of urgency from from there, and so uh, we just have to match the intensity and play, you know, to the best of our capabilities. It's not uncommon in sports when you have a competitive, competent team like Notre Dame that gets. I mean, you know what handed to them like you guys did two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. to have an opportunity a few weeks down the road to return the favor, and often they do. How do you guys guard against that? Um, well, like I said, we just have to play at the top of our game. We can't worry about uh, you know Notre Dame coming out with the mindset that they lost the last game and um, the way that we won that game. So like I said, if we come out, you know, playing at the top of our game with the most intensity that we're capable of and um, playing as well as we have played on the defensive end, I think we'll be okay. What, a lot of times people say, boy, if you're not playing well going into the NCAA tournament, it's going to be a tough tournament for you. Mm -hmm. They went from losing to you guys by 31 right. to now they're in the Elite Eight. And right. they've come from behind each of their games. What does that say about them? Um, that just shows that they're an extremely tough team. Um, to be able to come back from that and make this run that they made um, during the NCAA tournament, uh, to be able to win that game yesterday, they won. that was a grindy, a grindy game. And uh, they grinded that out and got a, a huge win. And, um, against Wisconsin, so for them to be able to do that just speaks on uh, how tough their team is. The vibe I'm getting from you guys is as you go one game further, you guys are getting looser. You're having more fun, but you know when to turn it on. But the fact that you guys know how to have fun seems to kind of remove the stress from the moment. From the moment. Um, most definitely. Uh, I mean, the way we played yesterday makes it a lot easier, too. We, we shot the ball extremely well, and uh, percentages were up. So uh, that enabled us to, to be a bit more loose and have a little bit more fun in that game and, and not uh, be as stressed um, as if it were like a close game all the way through. You had a pretty big game yesterday. Joel struggled for a while, wasn't really getting a shot, and you came in and gave some points. Then you had a little scoop shot. I think that was, that was late in the first half, uh -huh. right? A little bit of old man game there. You guys never, you kind of have that when you get in the lane because mm -hmm. you get the bigger guys, but you ever just scoop stuff over them. The guys mm -hmm. ever joke with you about having a little bit of an old man game? Um, Joel always calls me an old guy or an old man, and uh, especially off the court because they say I move extremely slow off the court and I'm more relaxed days ago. When I get on the court, I'm kind of speedy and quick, but uh, Joel says it all the time. As long as it goes to the cylinder, right? <laughs> two <laughs> right. points, two points, doesn't matter. Exactly, exactly. I think something.